Alright guys, welcome back to the Barbed Wire Ranch here in the beautiful city of Ravenport. Today we're going to get us some horses. So let's feed Colt before we head downtown to the shop. Oh, there it is. There's Colt. Uh, like I said, we're going to do some horses today. Our how-to series is rolling along just nicely. We've done chickens, sheep, and now we're going to do horses. We've also done videos on hay and silage. So we're getting a little collection of videos together here on YouTube. Hope you all are enjoying them. Uh, if you are, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. So we need an animal hauler to do horses. Uh, there's some anim a few animal haulers right now on FS19. But the only one you can do with horses is the actual horse trailer. I think it's called the Big Western. We're going to run down to the shop and pick us one up. Uh, like I said, guys, you can have horses delivered to you, but that's not very realistic. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down and get us a trailer. Let's pass these cars right fast. I don't like doing 30 mile an hour. So uh, I hope you're enjoying Farming Simulator 19 as much as I am, guys. Hope everything's going well on your farm. Uh, actually, if you want to, send us some pictures uh, in comments below of your farm. Or if you've got videos on YouTube of them, send us a video, guys. Leave us a link. We'd like to, I'd like to go check it out, see what yins are doing. So let's go here in the shop, and we will go down here to Animal Transport. And there it is, the big Western WCF. Let's get it in black. I like black. No, we do not want to lease. We want to buy the wrong button there so there you see it over let's go hook up still waiting for a good logging vid map on 19 guys love this logging well i got a another map on ravenport we've started we've planted some trees so we can do some logging i'll show you in that here short soon and uh we'll do a little logging let's head up here to the animal dealer Conveniently located to the Bob Wire Ranch. Uh, we'll buy us a couple horses. The Big Western uh, here, the trailer we are hauling, guys. It can, uh, let's open the cover up there. You can haul two horses with this trailer. Like I said, we're going to pull down here. There's the animal dealer. We're going to go down the road here behind it. Pick us up a couple horses. We've got our enclosure set, as you've seen in previous videos, and we are ready to put some horses in. We've got oats, we've got straw, and we've got hay, and we've got a water trailer. So, let's pull in here, and we'll open our animal dialogue with L3. Let's go down and find us some horses. There we go. You've got, well, we've got a few horses to choose from, don't we? Well, we're a bunch of them. So, we've got gray, we've got pinto. Which I like. It's like an old paint Indian horse. What they call an old paint horse. Palomino. Chestnut. Bay. Black. Steel brown. And dune. I believe we're going to buy us. Let's see here. A pinto. And a palomino. So let's. We moved them over as you see with the X button to the big Master Western WCF trailer. We'll hit square to confirm a purchase, and we bought them, guys. Like I said, uh, horses, I think, were $5,000 a piece. I believe they were. Let's get that. Yep, $5,000 a piece. So, as you can see them back there in the holler, there they are. There's our horses, guys. Let's head back over to the ranch. Next, we're going to be doing some cows on our next how-to series. So let's get back over to the ranch. Like I said, I love the convenient location of Field 7. That's why we put the ranch there. So we'll go up here and we'll put these horses in the pasture there. And we'll go get them the things they need. Uh, horses, guys, uh, they do not breed. You must buy each horse. Uh, you can't put two horses together in an enclosure. Oh, and they uh, breed like you would cows and sheep and pigs. So, uh, the thing about horses, guys, is you have to ride them. You have to train them. So, uh, as you train these horses every day, they go up in value. 
Right here's where we'll drop them in at. All right, now let's open our animal dialogue. Let's move these horses from the trailer to the enclosure. We'll do that with X. Square to confirm. Let's see here. Where's our, there they are, guys. Let's jump the fence here. There's our horses. Now, you can name your horses, which I really like. So let's go here. Let's go over to animals. Right now, they're named Royal and Buddy. Now, to rename, you hit square. I'm going to rename this Palomino because I grew up a fan of westerns. And Gene Autry had a Palomino horse named Trigger. So let's... Now we've changed his name to Trigger. And the Pinto, which I call the Paint Horse, Patch Horse, as it was known in the old days. Uh, let's call him Ruger. Alright, there's that done. Alright guys, we've got Trigger. And over here we got Ruger. That's awesome. See, ride Ruger. Hit square to ride him. First, we, we're going to do some riding right quick, but what we need to do is get the oats, straw, and hay that they need in water. So, let's go over here to our shed where we're parking our animal haulers. You can probably hear the kids in the background. They're playing in Oregon, like always. Beautiful Sunday morning here in eastern Kentucky. It's where we're located, guys, in real life. We're located in eastern Kentucky. So let's, kids are hollering guys. What Layla? We like unicorns. Well tell Levi daddy said stop. Go play. Sorry about that guys. Uh, let's run down here. Let's get our John Deere 6R. Sorry for the interruption with the kids guys. Uh, they're enjoying holiday break. They'll be back in school uh, starting Wednesday coming here. And so let's go down here. I've tried to make this video four times already, guys, and the kids just, they're just going to have their way, I guess. So, uh, like I said, apologize for the interruptions. Let's shut the engine off on our truck. Let's go over and get our 6R. we got our little bale trailer on here. We'll drop it off. And uh, we'll start the. Oh, we dropped our forks. We didn't want to drop that. Hey. So let's go over here and get our tipper trailer. Alright, let's get over here. Back up here to our tipper trailer. Now let's go up here and get, we need some oats for the horses. We'll see how many oats it takes to feed two horses. We harvested oats earlier guys, when we bought field seven here in Ravenport, it was planted in oats, so we just harvested them, collected them, then we terraformed our land and put our silos up and dropped them into our silos. All right, let's start filling. Barley, oats, there we go. So let's start filling. We didn't collect the whole field, guys. We just collected a little. I would say that is enough. Well, we filled it to 14,000 anyway, so we'll be bringing some of that back without a doubt. So let's drop them right here. We'll see how many oats it takes to feed two horses. Well, it took a lot, guys, to feed those horses. It took, looks about 12,000 liters. So let's take this excess back over and put it in their silo there. Trying to help the little one here get something to drink. 
I picked up a bad day to do videos, but let's do one anyway. So let's put our extra oats back into our silo. Now let's go over here to our hayloft, which we put by our horse enclosure in between it and the pig enclosure. And uh, we'll get some hay, because horses need hay. And I need some straw and water, guys, and some oats. So let's get our hay first. Uh, I would say that'll be enough. So let's go over here. We'll go right back into where we drop the oats, guys. Same spot, feeding trough. And drop our hay. Taking a lot of hay, there we go. So now we'll run back here behind the, the back side of the hayloft. Let's turn around here in the grass. And drop this extra hay back into our hayloft. And then we'll run back around the front here and get us some straw start feeling that should be let's just do 14,000 alright guys our straw goes in over here you see the little trigger area. That's for water there. This is for hay. Now, guys, you can put this in with a hay shredder, which I'll show you here in animals. Right there, you put it in by the bale and shredder and blow it in, or you can use these front attachers for your tractors. Put a bale in it and use those. We just dump straight onto the ground, guys. Easiest way. And you'll see here in a second, you'll see as the straw hill fills, there you see it coming across the field. Nice little straw patch. Didn't need much at all, guys. So we got a lot of excess to put back in there. Into our hay loft. So we've got oats, we've got straw, and we've got hay. Now let's get some water. So we'll dump this in. And then we'll go get our little water trailer. So let's disconnect. Let's run over here. Our little water trailer's over here by our sheep. And these are the sheep right here, guys, we put in the other day. We put in 10. And we'll finish filling that up. Eventually, we'll let them, that pasture, we might just let them breed. Now, we stocked the limit in our first enclosure that we did off screen. Well, there was our water fill spot there, but we got one over here by the cow pasture, too. Uh, so, we might let that pasture just breed out, guys, and let them fill it ourselves without buying them. Since we are a little low on funds right now, uh, we got a wheat, uh, soybean harvest, as you see across the way there, we got to take care of. So, let's pull up here to this. One. Like I said, guys, I placed two of these on the ranch. The one you see here, and then one straight across. We just seen over by the. I can't hardly see it from here. Well, I can see it off there in the distance. That we put over by the sheep. Another beautiful day here in Ravenport. Really enjoying the how-to series, guys. I hope you are, too. Uh, I've done this at a request of some friends of mine who didn't play FS15 or 17 and just went ahead and bought 19. So they was wondering, how do we do this? How do we do that? So 
Like I said, guys, I enjoy making the videos. Hope you enjoy watching. Leave us a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. No pressure. Now let's empty our water in here. Well, we filled up already, guys. So let's shut our tractor off. So we're going to speed time up just a second. So that should be enough time, guys. Now let's go into our animal section. Let's go down and check on our horses. Our sheep are doing well. We really want the orange kicked up and he to find it. Okay, Levi, I'll find it in a minute, baby. Let's go down here. You see Ruger and Trigger. Look, guys, we got 100% on everything. Now, if you'll notice there, the top right there by the horse or the horse head emblem, that is your actual riding, their experience, their training. So what we're going to do is we're going to train one of these horses. And but you do that by riding them five minutes a day, guys. Five minutes a day. Let's open our gate up here. Uh, let's train Ruger. Let's get on Ruger. So we'll hit square. And there we are, guys. We're on him. So. You'll hit R2 to start a little walk. R2 again to trot. Oh, we got to hold up the fence. And then we'll hit R2 again. We'll canter. And then to go a full gallop, you hit R2 again. That's full run, guys. Now, if you do L2, you'll slow back down to a canter. L2 again, slow down to a trot. L2 again, walk. And then L2 again will stop. So we want to run at a canter. We'll run around the ranch here. We're going to go to a full gallop, so. We're just galloping along, guys. Like I said, five minutes a day. Right over five minutes, that gives our daily training in. Now, there is a place over by the ranch. Oh, we hit the trailer. Back up reverse there. Uh, there's a place over by the ranch you could take them, which is a little equestrian area, a training area where you teach them to jump, extra jump, so you can jump with them. We'll ride by the chickens here. We're going to, have to collect some eggs, guys. we got a lot of eggs down on the ground. So we're going to ride for a few minutes. Uh, we might not do the full five, but to get their daily in, riding in, guys, you're going to ride for five minutes a day. I do notice, and you can zoom in, as you can see, there's me on the horse or John Deere hat walking, rocking the shades. Go out on the highway, you'll notice changing the sound. See, dirt, highway. It's really great what they've done with horses this year, guys. I mean, uh, horses, like I said, uh, if you train your horses five minutes a day for ten straight days, guys, these horses will sell for $50,000 a piece. Uh, like I said, they don't breed, they don't produce manure, they don't produce slurry. They are strictly... Uh, there to train and ride, train and ride them and sell, guys. You can ride them around. Uh, I've seen on PC there have been some mods. People have made mods where you could hook a wagon to a horse and ride the wagon, which is pretty cool. Doubt you'll see that on console. Uh, so after you ride your horses, let's go ahead. We'll take him back, guys. I said we're not going to do the full five-minute ride. After you ride your horses, guys, uh, you will notice they start to get dirty, and you need to wash them. Like you do equipment. Now you can't power spray them, uh, guys. Uh, you just go in here. Let's put him back in here. The gate's up here. We'll put him back in our enclosure. We'll put Ruger in. Oh, Ruger walked across the fence. So we'll put him in. We'll come to a stop. Now we'll you use square guys just like getting out of a vehicle to get off of him. And now you're off of him. He goes back over there. Let's close our gate here. Now we'll walk over to Ruger because he's the horse we rode. And you'll see the option here to clean Ruger with circle. Now we'll go into pair into our animals. And Ruger should be a little dirty. As you see down there at the bottom, underneath Ruger, you got three bars. You got uh, your first one, like I said, is training. Your second one is his health. We got all the food and stuff he needs. And the third one is your cleanliness. So we're going to walk up to Ruger. And we're going to hit circle. Oh, 
we're on top of Rigger. And you heard the little spritz. He wasn't very dirty, guys. So we cleaned him. Now if you go back in and go down and look at Ruger's status again. There you go. He's at 92%. So he still needs a little cleaning. Ruger's completely clean now, guys. Now we're going to look at him again. Should be up to 100%. There he is, guys. 100% cleanliness. And, guys, that's horses. Like I said, ride them five minutes a day. And at midnight, every night, when your clock hits zero, 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 uh, you will get a little notice up there underneath your money that uh, his training has improved. And the next day, you'll see right now, guys, like I said, we paid $5,000 a piece for our horses. Now they're worth $2,500. we have got to train them guys to get money out of them. Trigger is worth $2,975, and so is Ruger. But now Ruger, we're going to ride him a few more minutes. And we'll, uh, tomorrow his level will change. And he'll be worth more money. So like I said, guys, that's horses. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, like, subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Thanks for watching.